Hey, what's up guys, it's Randy and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna see if it sounds better to boom from above your subject or from below your subject. Now in most of my videos, I position my microphone just out of frame so that you can't see it. It's right here if I scratch. So it's just out of frame and I mount it to the top of my C stand using a boom pole holder. But in a recent video, I was doing some microphone comparisons and I thought it'd make a lot more sense to have the microphone in frame so that you can see which microphone I'm using and to have it much closer to my mouth so you get less room noise. And of course, because it's a microphone review, I wasn't too concerned with the microphone being in the shot. Now for some context, I'm in a relatively untreated room. Let's switch over to this camera here. You can see I've got a sofa cushion here and I've got a sofa cushion here and the camera there. So I kind of talk into these two sofa cushions. There's a rug on the floor which isn't doing much because it's a pretty thin rug and there is no paneling, no nothing in this space. It's basically like an eight by nine office. Right now the microphone is a little further than thumb to pinky away from my mouth. So that's kind of the distance that we're gonna use below as well. All right, so let's read something. Um, I got this. Okay, here we go. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. Okay, let's move the microphone down and we'll give it a listen. Okay, so that's about the same distance there. I'm a little more than thumb to pinky away. So we'll go ahead and read this and we'll do both back to back. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. Okay, we're back. Uh, I just took a listen to those two samples back to back and I have to be completely honest, I didn't really hear a difference. Okay, let me qualify that statement. So the first time that I listened, I was listening on Apple earbuds. Once I put on better headphones and I put some processing on in my DAW, I could definitely hear a difference. And I think the biggest difference was in the sibilance. I noticed that when I was booming from above, I'd get a really natural flat sound. And when I was booming from below, I tend to find a little bit more sibilance and low end in the recording. I think that because when I speak, I kind of tilt my head a little bit down, probably gives a bit more access for a microphone below to be picking up sibilance. As well, I think there's a bit more resonance just from the microphone's proximity to my chest when I'm booming from below. So something to think about. Now, if you wanna record a talking head and you also want the microphone below and you also want the microphone out of the shot, you're gonna to have to go down another six to eight inches. So let's give that a try next and hear how that sounds. Okay, so this is with the microphone out of frame down all the way down here. Now, this is actually pretty far from my mouth. Like this is almost double just about double what it was before. Okay, so the microphone is still down here. Let's go ahead and do the quick sound comparison. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. So if you don't wanna see your microphone, definitely the best place to get it would be just above your head, just for the simplicity of having it being as close to your mouth as possible. But if you don't care about seeing the microphone, you can bring your microphone right up to your mouth here and do sort of the interview style of shot. Now, one thing that's really important to note is I actually had to turn my gain down to get the microphone this close. Now, the closer you get to your microphone, the better the signal to noise ratio, meaning the more of your voice and the less of the reflections bouncing around the room. So this is definitely gonna give you a much tighter better sound than any of the other setups. If that's what you're into, of course, it's gonna have more proximity effect. It's gonna sound a little bassier, a little warmer. Maybe that's not what you want, but let's go ahead and do the sound test and then we'll do them all back to back. Extra high quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. Extra high quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. High quality nickel plated XLR connectors for extra durability and efficient signal transfer. So as you can hear, if the microphone is this close, you get noticeably less reverb in the room. You just have to be okay with the look of a microphone in your shot. And of course, if you do want the microphone this close to your mouth, you have to put it below your mouth because if you put it above, it would be like right here, which just wouldn't look great for a video. 
Now, if you don't wanna see the microphone in the shot, I would definitely recommend booming in from above. There's a few reasons for that. One, of course, this frame here is a lot closer to your mouth than this frame down here or these frames on the side. So you're actually getting the microphone as close to the subject as possible by booming in from right above the frame, like right here. Another thing to consider is the type of microphone you're using. This is a super cardioid microphone, which means it picks up really well from the front, almost nothing from the sides, but it does pick up a little from right behind it. So when I put this microphone above me, kind of pointing up into this untreated corner up here, one of the concerns is that my voice is bouncing to that corner and bouncing back into the microphone. So for that reason, booming from below with lots of absorption below you may be a better option. So just take into consideration how your microphone picks up sound and make sure you put it in the best place that's rejecting the most room noise possible. That's gonna give you the best results. In this video here, we go over how to position your microphones to get the best results possible. And I strongly suggest that you check it out to get the most out of your equipment. That's it for today. We'll see you over there.